Today we're going to talk about the new meta for Destiny 2 Forsaken and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today I wanted to talk about the change in the meta, specifically the meta for consoles and not the meta for the PC. And yes, the meta for the PC is definitely different from consoles. If you guys would like me to do a video on the PC meta, then let me know in the comment section below. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered in the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Okay, so if you don't know, the meta is a constant change in the best weapons, armor, subclasses, perks, etc. to use in any given game. This change comes in the form of new DLC releases, sandbox changes, and hotfix patches. The meta for Destiny 2 can refer to PvE or PvP, but the PvP side is actually broken up into two different sections, Crucible and Trials. And I will be making a separate video that covers Gambit as well, so stay tuned for that. Since Trials of the Nine hasn't been released for Forsaken as of this video, I am only going to talk about weapons for regular Crucible. And I will cover armor in another video. Prior to Forsaken being released, there was a huge reign of terror from several weapons in Destiny 2. Those weapons were the Graviton Lance, the Vigilance Wing, NAOD, Sins of the Past, and Crimson. And I'm pretty sure we had like a week, maybe a week and a half, with the Prometheus Lens destroying everything. All of that has greatly changed since Forsaken has been released and not a single one of those weapons are in the top meta as of this recording. Now, I am not saying that those weapons aren't being used, but they have been slowly phased out, and the following information comes from DestinyTracker.com. The top 5 weapons in the current Forsaken meta are Bygones, Ace of Spades, Trust, Go Figure, and the Ikelo Shotgun. Yes, the Ikelo Shotgun is still a very good weapon, especially due to its unique perks. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys use any of the weapons in the new meta and what perks you use on them. So let's start with the top weapon used in the meta, Bygones. Bygones is a new pulse rifle with an RPM of 390. Now we've had many weapons prior to Forsaken with the same type of RPM but none with as good as perks on them. A god roll Bygones has extended barrel, high caliber rounds, rampage and outlaw. And to add salt and lemon juice to the wound, I would actually look for one with a masterwork of either handling or range. You can get a decent Bygones from the Drifter or one with better rolls on it as a drop in Gambit. Next is the exotic hand cannon Ace of Spades. This thing is so good in PvE and PvP and it's all due to its intrinsic perk Memento Mori which reloading after a kill loads magazine with a few extra damage bullets. It also grants radar while aiming down sights or ADS as well as it has high caliber rounds and firefly. Now speaking of firefly, I will note that even though the Ace of Spades is the only weapon in the game that has firefly as of this video, its animation is heavily similar to the current dragonfly perk that we all hate so much. Now I wouldn't put it past Bungie if they just changed the name as well as the description of the perk. Either way, Memento Mori gives you 6 rounds with higher damage and you can keep count with an indicator on the left side of the screen. Also, you can only get the Ace of Spades through a quest that Bungie unfortunately made easier for people to do. Well, at least in the Gambit part of the quest. Trust is another hand cannon in the game that is also top in the meta due to its fast firing and you can also get it from grinding Gambit or resetting your Gambit rank through a package. A God Roll Trust has full bore, extended barrel, or hammer forge rifling, accurized rounds, outlaw or snapshot, rapid hit, or rampage. If it were up to me, I personally would try to get a roll that had full bore, accurized rounds, outlaw, and rampage, but any of the other perks are still good. And getting God Rolls isn't easy, so happy grinding. The fourth weapon in the new meta is an interesting one, and it is the Go Figure. Now, Go figure looks like it could be a machine gun with as big as it is. And since it's a normal forsaken weapon, I want to say that it can drop during any of the activities that is not Gambit or Crucible. So that's the story missions, adventures, lost sectors, bounties, strikes, the nightfall, etc. Now 
I actually have two very good ones. One has high caliber rounds, Zen Moment and Rampage, and the other has Ricochet rounds, Outlaw and Kill Clip. Both of these are pretty good in PvE as well as PvP, but I haven't got used to it due to preferring other weapons. The last weapon in the current meta is still awesome, and it is the only weapon from before Forsaken's release, and that is the Ikelo Shotgun. No need for explanations, because many people already know that Trench Barrel is a beast of a perk. But, for those who don't know what Trench Barrel does, after a successful melee hit, this weapon gains increased damage, accuracy, and handling within stricter damage falloff for a short time. This shotgun is perfect for those who melee shotgun folks out there in PvP, but it is also good in PvE, especially in the Last Wish raid. It just melts Kali and all of the other bosses. Trying to get the Ikelo shotgun is very troublesome for most people because it requires you to grind Escalation Protocol, which is in fact very time consuming. But the hard part about all of these weapons is the masterwork. Unfortunately, all Forsaken Legendary weapons have a static masterwork perk, which means that the masterwork it comes with is what you get. The exception to this is the Ikelo shotgun, which is the only weapon out of the five that you are allowed to change its masterwork, and the masterwork for shotguns can be either a plus five in stability, a plus ten in reload or handling. But wait, let's not forget to give an honorable mention to the Edge Transit. This is by far the best grenade launcher in the game since it's been released. It's beyond belief in PvE and it destroys Guardians in PvP. You can one phase bosses in the Last Wish raid with the Edge Transit and take down a Primeval in about 5 seconds in Gambit. That's like amazing. And what the best part about this weapon is, it drops everywhere. Like literally everywhere. I'm joking of course. About everything except for the drop rate for the Edge Transit. This grenade launcher is terrible. If you ever get one, go ahead and just dismantle it. Every single time you get one. D don't, don't even keep it in your, uh, in your vault. Just get rid of it. Now, besides the fact that these weapons are the best so far that a lot of people are using in the current PvP meta, I have only got to play with 4 out of the 5. Trust is the only one that I have a gripe with, and that is due to not getting a trust with worthwhile perks. Overall, these are all great weapons for PvE and PvP. Most likely, if you are not playing the meta, then definitely grind out for these weapons, or if you refuse to play the meta, stop being so stubborn. Mind you, the meta will change from time to time, so these weapons will not always be on top. Newer and better weapons will arise, and then the community will switch to those. But don't be afraid to try other weapons that aren't a part of the meta. You'd be surprised what else weapons that are out there that are actually good. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.